This is a short instructional video about how to build the sword and shield that we're going to be using at camp. Items we're going to need are sponges, zip ties, black strap, 12 inch pizza plates from the dollar store that are pre-drilled, and a six foot length of pipe insulation, one half of a dollar store pool noodle, and uh, pre-cut two and a half foot pieces of PVC pipe, and of course duct tape. First you take your pre-drilled pizza plate and your zip ties and then you are going to install the zip ties and they're going to become the holders for the straps that, uh, that allow you to hang on to the, the shield and so this kind of shows you, you put the zip tie with the tab coming inwards you then tape the, the extra length like the tabs down to the pizza pan um, I've tried cutting them before but they kind of form a sharp edge so I prefer taping them next you're going to take your pipe insulation and you're going to open up the seam of the pipe insulation about two-thirds of the way down so about four feet then you're going to loop the pipe insulation around the edge of the pizza pan kind of doing some measuring when you get your length cut it and then tape it and then you're going to affix the pipe insulation to the pizza pan in the same manner taking short pieces of tape and just working your way around the edge of the pizza pan uh, as shown until you have it all the way around and you have all of the foam insulation covered by duct tape. Next you're going to take your black strapping, one inch strap, and you are going to slide those through the loops made by the zip ties. And this is going to be on the bottom side of the pan that you do that. Once you have them kind of evenly distributed in length, you're going to duct tape them down to the pan to keep them from slipping. Next, for the padding for the shield, you're going to take two dollar store sponges. You get those for ten for a buck at Dollar Tree. You lay those on the back of the shield as so, and then you're going to duct tape them down for the padding. You don't want to compress them. You want to leave them them, um, spongy so that they will pad your arm then you're going to measure how much strap you need and then you're going to basically just kind of overlap it you're going to fit it to your hand first of all you want it pretty tight and then duct tape it to the length that you like it then you're going to do the same with the forearm and that pretty much is the basic structure of your shield uh, now you can begin to decorate it you're going to want to duct tape over the the front of the shield where the uh, the zip ties come through they can be kind of sharp and unsightly so yeah, I just did a black face on the uh, on the shield did some decoration and now you can kind of see what the shield looks like So now we're going to take a look at how to build the sword. First you start with a two and a half foot piece of half inch PVC pipe. And then you're going to take some electrical tape. And uh, what you're going to do with that electrical tape is just make two um, wraps around the, uh, the uh, PVC pipe or, or wraps in two different places, about three to four wraps, just to give a little bit of grip for the half of a pool noodle. So when you slide that on that it doesn't want to come back off. When you put that pool noodle on, you want to make sure that there is about two inches from the tip of the PVC pipe to the tip of the foam. You can kind of see down there. That way the PVC doesn't come through and hurt anybody. Next you're going to take the rest of your pipe insulation, slide it on to the, as a handle, fill about three quarters of an inch from the base of the PVC, and then cut that. As you can see, that still leaves a little bit of padding below the PVC pipe just to make sure nobody gets hurt. Then you're going to cut about a 2 inch to 3 inch piece of the pipe insulation. And you can go ahead and slit that open and then affix it to the bottom of the uh, sword as such and that becomes the pommel. And again, that just gives extra protection to make sure that no one gets hurt and then you can duct tape that on. You want to make sure you cover all the foam um, we'll, we'll do that in steps. You want to make sure that you duct tape the blade to the handle just so the, the blade doesn't want to come off as you're swinging. And then you can duct tape around the handle. And then for the blade itself, you use long strips of duct tape lengthwise and it gives you the best finish for your blade. You do want to make sure that all the foam is covered to prevent tearing and that you've also duct taped the tip so that the PVC pipe can't come out the top. 
and there you have your sword and shield. All right. So uh, these are the, the sword and shield that I made for our overnighter a couple weeks ago, and they both experienced about uh, two to three hours of play. And you see the sword's in really good shape, and the shield is a little bent and tweaked, but uh, it, it's held up and it does the job. And so you can see the padding back here and uh, how that shields the hand um, from, from blows. You can whack it pretty hard and nobody gets hurt. This is safe if it gets shoved in somebody's face. It's not going to hurt anybody. So uh, anyways, uh, that's how we uh, make the sword and shield.